Hi, I'm Darren Carden, and today I'm going to show you a technique to preload data on your website. So, in this example, we have some thumbnails. When you click on a thumbnail, a larger version of the image is loaded from the server. However, there is going to be a delay between when the thumbnail is clicked and when the larger image is displayed. This delay is what we're trying to get rid of, and we can do it by taking a guess at what the user will look at next and loading it before they click on it. Then, when the user does decide to look at the image, it displays instantly. So, let's look at what's happening here. When I click on the thumbnail, we have a short delay, and then the image is displayed. If we look at the network activity, you can see that there are actually two requests being made. The first is for the image we selected, and the other is for the image directly to the right. So I'm loading the next image while the user is still looking at the current one. So when the user does decide to view that image, there's no load delay because the image is already loaded. In this case, the smiley face took about two and a half seconds to load, but from the user's point of view, it loaded instantly. So let's look at the JavaScript. All I'm doing is assigning a click event to all the thumbnails. And when a thumbnail is clicked, I get the image name from the thumbnail and load it into an image tag. I then add the image tag to the HTML. And as soon as this is done, I call the preload function. In this function, we get the thumbnail to the right of the current thumbnail and load it into an image tag. Nothing is done with this tag. It will disappear when the function returns, but the browser will store that image in its cache. The fact that this image gets cached is how we get the instant load time. I've got some example code on my website, darrencarden.com. Check it out if you get a chance.